Merry Christmas, Marjorie. Oh. Hello, Marjorie. Siobhan, I've been expecting your call. I see you're the Global's big top 40 Christmas number one. That's right. But not number one on the official chart. Maybe not, but we were the most downloaded and most purchased song, not just in the UK. We were top of the iTunes chart around the world too. Hmm. Call it a draw. No. I'm going to let you win. I? You heard. I'm going to hand in my resignation. Are you having me on? No, it's Christmas. I'm feeling generous. I'm moving up to better things. I think you mean moving on to better things. No, I'm moving up. I've been made a partner. What? As of the new year. Why, on God's green earth, would they make you a partner? Siobhan, I'm going out to the hot tub if you'd like to join me. That's why. And I can't wait for you to meet my replacement. Wait, you've already hired someone? Mm-hmm. Handpicked by yours truly. Apparently goes by the nickname of The Piranha. The Piranha? What kind of person have you hired? Let's just say... You'll be wishing for the devil you knew. Merry Christmas, Marjorie. Oh my God. Oh. Charlotte, what are you doing here? You didn't think we were gonna let you spend Christmas on your own, did you? Oh, oh what, about, what about your, your husband and your kids? Oh, they're so busy playing with all of their new toys, they won't miss me for a couple of hours. Oh, you... Carly, what are you doing here? My dad's putting together my younger siblings' bikes and every time he bends over, he gets a huge builder's bum. Honestly, I am this close to bringing out my Christmas dinner. I had to get out of there. So sure I thought you'd be with your wife today. Ah, sure, she's in a food coma. She didn't even know it was me leave. She probably won't be conscious again until tomorrow now. Oh. Autumn. I needed an excuse not to go to my father's. He has company. Come on in, I'll pour you a glass of wine. Just give me the bottle and the straw. Winter! It's lovely to see you. Marjorie, it's lovely to see you too. I would much rather be here spending Christmas with a group of people I see all day, every day, rather than being at home in front of a roaring fire with my girlfriend in a state of undress. That was far too much information. Oh, well, if I've made you uncomfortable, you can ask us to leave. Nice try, okay? Come in, you can keep it in your pants for a couple of hours. Fine, but any longer I will be getting our blanket out and putting it on your living room floor. Oh. Oh. So, Marjorie, we got your text. Siobhan's leaving. Yeah. Well, actually, about that. She is leaving the nursery, but it's only because she's been made a partner in the business. She's now on the board of directors. What? Oh, my God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God, my father's an imbecile. True, darling, but he's a rich imbecile, so don't do anything to get yourself written out the will. It's okay. Do you know, the board, they never interfere with anything to do with nursery business. We never even see them in the nurseries. And this way, the sister nursery gets a brand new manager that we can actually work with, and they'll probably be lovely. It's great. Yeah. What? Siobhan's already gone ahead and hired somebody and from what I understand they go by the nickname the piranha because they stink of fish I think it's more related to their bloodlust if Siobhan's anything to go by well, that's okay we've got Autumn and she's nicknamed the guard dog and I do bite god you're hot I think we can safely say 2024 is going to be an interesting year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh my God, today is the day. It's finally here. <laughs> I'm positively buzzing with excitement. How are you not jumping up and down in your seat right now? You know what today is? It's Siobhan's last day. I can hardly contain myself. 
go. <laughs> hey, Autumn. Marjorie, you've just had a delivery of flowers. They're for me. Yeah, that's what the courier just said. Oh, who oh, on earth is sending me flowers? Oh, it looks like there's a little card in there as well. Marjorie, I'm very much looking forward to working with you in the future. I'm on my way over now. I hope you like the flowers. They're a symbol of our future working relationship. All my love, the piranha. Considering her nickname, actually she doesn't seem so bad, just some flowers. Except, if this is meant to be a symbol of our working relationship, why are half the flowers dead? Wait, they are? Yeah, literally, all round the back, all dead. Doesn't exactly bode well for us working together in the future, does it? Maybe it was just, you know, a, a bad batch of flowers. You know, sometimes when you order online, you don't know how they're going to turn out when they arrive there. You're quiet. Those flowers being dead was no accident. It was intentional. It's how they work. Wait, do you? Do you know who the piranha is? After seeing those flowers, I have a pretty big hunch. Well, then, who is it? Is it someone we've worked with before? Is it someone we know? She's on her way over now. Who is she? She's not a she. It's a man. Autumn, who is he? Knock, knock. Hello, Marjorie. Little sis. Big brother. I hope you like the flowers, Marjorie. Sorry, a few of them are dead, but I do prefer them that way. <gasps> Hello, the nursery. Hello, it's Marjorie from the sister nursery. Marjorie, what can I do for you? Two things, actually. One, what's your name? What? Well, when you sent the flowers to my office the other day, you didn't actually sign the card with your name. You signed it with your nickname, the Piranha. I worked very hard to get that nickname. Well, good for you, but Autumn's not in today, and I realise I have no idea what your bloody name is. So what is your name? Spring. Spring. <laughs> Messing. I know you all love a seasonal name over at that nursery. <sighs> My name's Reese. Reese, right then, Reese. Point two, I've had an email come through from head office. Apparently, I'm going to be lending you a member of staff because you fired a load of yours. Ah, oh, how incredibly generous of you. Thank you, Marjorie. Well, no, no, it's not something I'm doing willingly. I have to do it because you're firing your staff. Maybe stop doing that. But it is so much fun firing people. Not if it means my staff members have to go over to your nursery because you're letting perfectly good staff members go. Perfectly good. Yes. Remind me, Marjorie, why is it your staff hate working over here? Because some of your staff are unbearable. Guess which ones I let go. Um. I'll see. Well, when will I be getting my staff member back permanently? Okay, I can't keep lending you people. When I hire someone new. Right, and when will that be? Well, it was right in the middle of looking at CVs before you rang me, but truthfully, talking to you is so much more enjoyable. Perhaps I should leave you to get back to it then. Are you sure? I'd much rather talk to you. Yes, I'm sure. I'd rather not spend my day talking to somebody who takes pride in the fact that his nickname is the Piranha. You haven't asked me how I got the nickname yet. I don't need to, okay? Your sister's already filled me in about the kind of person you are. Has she? Yes. So if there is nothing else, I need to get back to this rotor, and if you would get back to hiring someone, that would be great. Ugh, oh, love a woman that takes charge. Oh! Hmm. Marjorie, I can hear the cogs turning. What is it? We've never really discussed 
personal stuff. Yes, it's a working relationship I've grown very fond of and one that I hope continues. Um. You want to ask me about my brother? Well, now that he's part of the company and there's very, very clearly some tension between you two, I just, I just want to know what it is that I'm dealing with so I know what I'm up against. Very well, long story short. I despise my brother, he's a terrible human being, and that's the end of it. Okay, right, that's that's a good start. Um, What about the flowers, though? What about them? When I said that they were dead, you knew it was your brother that had sent them. I was just wondering, how did you, how did you know it was him? Because he's done it before. He has? Yes. When I was in school, the most popular boy in our year group left a note in my locker asking me to be his date to prom. Right. The note said that he was going to collect me at seven sharp. So 7pm rolls around, I open the front door, and it's my brother stood there. Your brother? Holding a bouquet of dead flowers. Turns out he'd orchestrated the whole thing as a prank. Oh my God, that is, that is so cruel. Safe to say I've hated him ever since. And every now and then he likes to send me dead flowers to remind me of how much he hates me too. Oh, to mum, I'm so sorry. That is, that's got to be one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever heard. It's fine. On a completely unrelated note, the very next day the boot of his car was filled with dead fish. It took weeks for the smell to come out. Oh my God. What? I've been wondering for years what it was. What, what was your villain origin story? Right, let's get started with today's staff meeting. Well, before we kick off, shouldn't we decide what we're going to call Siobhan? What are you talking about? Well, it's your first meeting as part of the board and the family. Do we call you boss, co-captain, mum? Reese, just call her Siobhan. Under no circumstances are you to call her mummy. <clears throat> right, yeah, sure, let's just get on with it then. Hi, hi, I'm so sorry, I'm so, so late here. Let me just go and scooch you next to Autumn. Had a bit of car trouble this morning. She takes a lot of love in the morning to get going. Lucky car. What did I miss? Only the horrifying realisation that our father definitely calls his latest squeeze mummy behind closed doors. Seriously? Reese. Right, first things first. I see I've given somebody a pay rise. Who is it that's been promoted to team leader? I think it's that drip that Autumn's dating, isn't it? Drip happens to be a very valued member of our staff, okay? He has worked for every penny of that pay rise and he deserves a hell of a lot more, as do all my staff members. Very well. Next order of business. I'm so sorry, but I've got to go. We've just started. I know, but Carly is thrown up everywhere and there is nobody there to cover her, so I need to leave now so she can go. You don't have any spare staff? Well, I would have, except he's borrowing them at the moment, so it's leaving a short staff every single day. So if you'll excuse me, I need to rush back. Oh. Marge. Excuse me, but where do you get off calling me Marge? Is that not your name? It's Marjorie to you, okay? You don't know me well enough to start giving me nicknames. Don't I? How can you? We've only met twice. Sure, twice in person, but... You worked for my dad forever. Spent years listening to the tales of the legendary Marjorie. Well, I don't know much about you, okay? So I don't think you and I should be so familiar. Would you like to get to know me? Not particularly, okay? From what I've heard about you, I don't want to get to know you. Autumn told you about prom. She did. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and cover a sixth staff member because you've got the only person who'd be able to do it. I am so sorry, you know how temperament on my car is. Charlotte? Hey, Marjorie. What are you doing here? I thought you were covering over at the sister nursery. Oh, I was, but Reese said I could come and cover here so Carly could go home. She's already left. Well, if you're here, who's covering over there? 
Reese. Reese is working in the rooms. Yeah, he's surprisingly good with the kids. They all absolutely love him, especially preschool because he can match their energy. So how do they all like him over there then? Um, I haven't really spoken to the staff about him yet, but the children absolutely adore him. Hmm. So, the sister nursery may be looking for a new manager very soon. Is my brother leaving already? I suspect after today, he very well might be. You lent him Jody. I certainly did, and you can bet your bottom dollar after half a day working with Jody, he's going to be a goner. Well, if anyone can drive him away, it's her. In fact, you know what? I'm going to pop over there now. I bet when I get there, he's probably sat in the corner, rocking backwards and forwards, already writing up his resignation. No, I don't think ear piercings are contagious, but by all means, Google it if you want to. Try rewording what you're searching. Don't put in holes, put in piercings. You don't want to find yourself on that side of the internet. Okay, fine. Marjorie, this is a surprise. Last time I saw you, you were storming away from me. I didn't expect a visit so soon. I just thought I'd swing by and see how Jodie's getting on. How do you think she's getting on? I don't know, that's why I asked. Come and see for yourself. Ooh. There she is. And then the squirrel was like toots all up in his business. And I was like, no, Mr. Squirrel, this is my tree, not yours. Shall we see what he said to her? Yeah. What is going on? What am I looking at? You're looking at our new best storyteller. Best storyteller? Are you telling me you've managed to make Jodie look good at her job? She was never bad at her job. She just wasn't doing the right thing. I see. That did not go as you had planned, did it? I don't know what you mean. Come on, let me Jodie for the day in the hopes I hate it and want to leave. No idea what you mean. Yeah, you're going to have to do harder than that to change me away, Marjorie. Right, well, Jodie's obviously doing very well here, so you may as well keep her for the week. So, I'll see you later. Feel free to drop by any time to check on her. No need. Seems like you've got everything under control. Although, you may want to get in there. It looks like Jodie's about to eat a piece of plastic fruit. Not the first time today. Jodie, drop it. Hello, the nursery. Hey, Margie. It's Marjorie, actually. You sure? Yes. It's not how you signed off on your email. Which email? The one you sent me this morning saying Carly was going to come and work with me next week. Oh, that was very obviously a typo. I know, but Margie actually really suits you. Regardless, it was a mistake. I did not mean to type it. You sure? You signed that off on an email that was only meant for me. So does that mean that Margie is exclusively my pet name for you? No, it just happened to be an email only sent to you, okay? It could have happened to anybody. But it didn't happen to anyone. It happened to me. So I think from now on, I'm just going to call you Margie. I think it's got a nice ring to it. Well, I don't. Sure you don't like it, Margie? Yes. Okay, fine. If you really, really don't want me to call you Margie, just tell me to stop. Do you know what? I've got to go, okay? There's somebody walking through the door. <sighs> There's nobody walking through the door, Marjorie. I oh, know, I just... I had to get him off the phone. Who off the phone? Your incredibly arrogant brother. <clears throat> Careful, Marjorie. My brother's charming, but he does take joy in other people's pain. What do you mean? No, 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 look. I know he's a bad person, okay? And even if he won't, he's your brother. I'm never going to go there. I'm just warning you. He's not a good person. He tormented me for years. Has he always been like that, even when you were kids? No, as children, we were always very close. I adored him. In fact, he was my best friend. Oh, I, I had no idea you were close growing up. What happened? One day he just stopped being nice to me. He just stopped? Yes, and he's been horrible to me ever since.
Autumn, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what that must have been like for you. It's fine. I've made my peace with it. I just hate to see history repeat itself. 